Today, we're looking at a pair of organs that really clean up. Chris, what are you doing? I'm cleaning and tidying the lab, Zand. I thought we had one of those self-cleaning laboratories. Would you like some orange juice? Oh, I'd love some. Yeah, it's thirsty work, this. Here you go. Thanks, Zand. Mm. <laughs> ah! It's got juicy bits in it! Now, Chris doesn't like bits in his orange juice any more than your body doesn't like bits or waste products in your bloodstream. And what your kidneys do is help to get rid of them. Now, I can remove the bits from the orange juice using this filter. Hey, that's my tea strainer. Whatever. It gets rid of all the little bits in the orange juice, just like your kidneys get rid of all the little bits from your blood that your body doesn't want. In 24 hours, your kidneys filter and clean 200 litres of blood. And it's even more amazing when you see what a real kidney looks like. Now, this pair is from a pig, but they're very similar to yours. It might look a bit gross, but your kidneys are amazing. This tube here is the main blood vessel carrying blood into the kidneys full of waste waiting to be removed. The blood gets filtered and another tube carries the waste, we, down to this sac here, which is your bladder. And your bladder empties when you go to the loo. And that's the pipe that takes away the cleaned up blood and sends it back around your body. Right, let's have a closer look. Scalpel, please, Dr. Chris. Now, inside the kidney is where all this filtering takes place. There we go. This is done by a special thing called a nephron. There's about a million in each kidney, and they're so small you can't see them. So we've had to pay good money for this photo of one under a microscope. Chris, don't you just hate it when a bit of the body is so small that you can only see it with a microscope. I do, I do, I hate it. But, luckily, I've got just this eventuality covered. Ooh. Come with me, Zand. Your kidneys are an amazing filtration system, and we're going to show you. To do it, I've made these. Two super-sized kidney models, one for me and one for you, Zand. These are great! Finally, a kidney model looks big enough to actually see what's going on. I love it! Yeah, I thought you'd like it. So, we're going to use our giant-sized models to show you just how your real-life kidneys clean your blood. Now, this jar represents a single nephron inside your kidneys. And just like in the real kidney, Chris has put a tube bringing blood into the nephron here, another tube bringing cleaned up blood out of the kidney, and then a third tube taking the waste away. It's amazing! OK, well, uh, thanks, son. Now, the liquid that represents your blood is here. It's got water and red glitter in it for a bit of colour. Now, we're going to pump our very attractive glittery blood through our nephrons to give us an idea of how your kidney works in real life. Are you ready, Zahn? I'm ready, Chris. Let's go. And pump. So what you can see here is the glittery blood flowing into the nephron. And it gets filtered through the nephron and then the nice clean blood travels back along the renal vein, back to the body full of all the nice stuff your body wanted to keep. Uh, Chris? And everything else, the waste, comes out here. Chris! Out of the ureter and into the bladder. Chris! My urine's darker than yours. Oh, so it is. I must have given you the dehydrated kidney. I wanted to show everyone what happens if you don't drink enough water. Oh, I see. Clever. If your wee is dark in colour, like this, it's a pretty reliable sign that your body isn't getting enough water. Being dehydrated is not good for you. Your body works best when it has enough water. Light-coloured wee, like on my nicely working kidney, is a sign that you're well hydrated. So we've seen how your kidneys are an amazing filter, cleaning up your blood and getting rid of things your body doesn't need. And the wee they produce is a pretty good sign of whether you should be drinking more water. Light yellow wee is good. Speaking of drinking more, I'd like a glass of orange juice. Now, I have some oranges here for you to squeeze for me. OK, Zand. Wait a minute, he's forgotten the oranges. Chris, you've forgotten the oranges! <laughs> Ouch!